Pancakes. Pancakes on tea. We've been doing the festival since 1984. We have people here from Minnesota and Chicago and Georgia. It's a wonderful combination of events all in one. It is a class for our friends in, uh, on campus. It's an ag and extension education class. It's also a community festival where we have community volunteers helping us to put on all the different components of the, the food, the pancakes, as well as help teach some of the stations. What happens when, when one end of a seesaw is heavier than the other end? The lighter oh, end goes up. The lighter end goes I, up, I exactly. This is the, uh, the tree ID station. Mm -hmm. This is the uh, first step in the maple sugaring process. We have uh -huh. bark. We got branches, uh -huh. and then maybe the bend of maybe the branches. These little, oh. little guys on the end. Oh, buds. Buds. Yeah. Spot on. <laughs> I'm 24 now, and I've literally been coming as long as I can remember. I mean, I love looking at the birds. I love coming to every festival, but the maple harvest one is just so special. It was so, so fun to sit by the fire. I'm a middle child, so I have two brothers, um, and we'd love running around, eating pancakes drinking apple juice by the fire is super fun. Have you had the pancakes yet? Yes, I did. That's the first thing we did when we arrived. They were delicious. The syrup was amazing. <laughs> but learning more about all the local foods that were served was, was fun and exciting. And we had live music while we were eating. All right, we need sausages. We need sausages. Oh, boy. It's a gigantic reunion, a chance to celebrate not only um, the Maple Fest, but also just the community and the people that are here and that make Shavers Creek what it is. The pancakes are amazing. Uh, the sausage is fantastic, but to see the community here is, is really uh, inspiring and I think really highlights the Penn State outreach mission. So Shavers Creek historically has done a really good job of providing experiential learning opportunities for students to get hands-on, pragmatic, practical uh, learning that is connected to what they learn in the classroom. Yes, exactly. I couldn't set up better myself. Most of these birds on their feet have sort of like a thumb, the hallux. Uh, it helps birds perch. Nice job! Okay. Being an environmental center, we are really well in tune with what's going on in the natural world. And in the spring every year, the sap flows. And understanding how maple trees, sugar maples specifically, be create the sap and create a sap that can become a maple product that we love to eat is part science, part arts and science, really. And together, then we are able to make that into a class that not only covers that science piece of it all, but also the art of how to teach about it. And so what's going on? How do people learn about making maple anything, maple candy, maple syrup, and that kind of skill set is one piece of the puzzle and then being able to teach about it and the host family and friends here on site over a thousand people a day is another whole piece of the puzzle for them learning how to do that kind of teaching um, it makes for a great combination of things that a center like ours can do for not only the university but for our whole community at large